students I'm Abhishek Kadra from Vidyavaru and in today's session I'm going to teach you some very interesting questions on time and work the questions are going to be of higher level and students the method I'm going to discuss is going to be very very simple simplest smartest shortest method for solving these time and work questions without assuming any variables so if you like the video please press the like button for sure share the video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and while subscribing make sure that you press the bell icon also as you can see i'm speaking in complete english medium why is it so because english is now a universal language for all of us so whether it is our dear students from south india telangana tamil nadu kerala so they even they can understand the english language and our students from northeast india they are well versed in english and perhaps not that well versed in hindi so my dear students what i am going to discuss is uh, very very important from the exam perspective so make sure you watch the video till the end and if you want to join our live classes the numbers are already given uh, on your screen so make sure you get in touch with our team and uh, start your preparation right away so let's look at the first question and as said students the level of discussion is going to be somewhat high the methods are going to be very very simple now let's look at the question on your screen read it together two men three women and four boys built 10 floors in how many days in 10 days if a man woman and a boy work in a ratio 5 is to 4 is to 2 so students that's the ratio of their efficiency then what happens day 6 men 4 women and 7 boys take to build 16 floors now let's understand this question well we have been given the efficiency of men women and boys so students let's work with that first we have the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 2 that means if a man performs 5 units work a woman performs 4 units and a child performs a boy performs two units work sure so if we have two men if we have two men how many units will they be performing students they will be performing 10 units work sure because one man performs 5 units work you have two men in the first case so they perform 10 units similarly you have three women so a woman performs 4 units so three women will be performing 12 units similarly students you have four boys one boy performs two units work so four boys will be performing eight units work sure that means two men three women and four boys when they work together what is the total work they do in a single day in a single day they will be doing 10 plus 12 plus 8 that means students they will be performing 30 units work in one single day sure they complete 10 floors in 10 days that means when they work for 10 days students together they perform 30 units so in 10 days they will be performing what in 10 days they will be performing 300 units of work 300 units of work is the work required students it is the work required for building how many floors for building 10 floors so 300 units is the work required for building 10 floors now students how many floors do we have to build now we have to build 16 floors look at the question carefully when we are building 10 units when we are building 10 floors we are performing 300 units work so if we have to build 16 floors then what will be the work required students it will be 300 upon 10 into 16 simple unitary method simple simple unitary method so what does it turn out to be students 16 threes are 48 it turns out to be 480 units that is the total work students that is the total work required for making how many floors for making 16 floors so now in the second case what happens students in the second case we have six men four women and seven boys working together sure so let's look at the ratio once again six men 
six men are going to work and one man performs five units so men will be contributing how much six into five that means 30 units six men will be contributing 30 units because one man does how many units one man does five units similarly we have four women and what is the per day contribution of one woman the per day contribution of one woman is four units so four women will be contributing what four women will be contributing four into four that means 16 units we have how many boys we have seven boys one boy contributes two units daily one by con one boy contributes two units so seven into two that means 14 units so when they work together when they work together what is the total work done in one single day students the total work done in one single day is 30 plus 16 plus 14 what does it turn out to be it turns out to be 60 units so 60 units work is the work that happens when six men four women and seven boys work together so to complete 480 units because now they are building 16 floors they have to complete 480 units so what will be the time taken in one day they complete 60 units to complete 480 units they will be taking what 480 upon 60 they will be taking eight days so students the answer turns out to be eight days isn't it simple i did not assume any variable i did not assume any x or y it was the simplest shortest method without any memorization without any rectification so if you like this approach call upon these uh, numbers given on your screen and be a part of our video courses be a part of our live classes let's look at the next question students this question which is now on your screen will introduce a new concept man days what is man days let's understand that work is measured in terms of man days how many men how many individuals how many people are required for how many days because work will always be measured in terms of man days so look at the question 10 women take eight days for a job that means 10 into 8 we require 10 women working for eight days that means the total work is what students the total work is 80 women days that is the total amount of work sure now what happens 10 children can uh, do the same job in 12 days so 10 into 12 students 10 into 12 that means 120 children days 120 children days are required we require 10, 10 children working for 12 days to complete the job so the total work the total job is worth how much of effort it is worth 120 child days sure now you can see the work is the same it is the same job that they are doing so students you can clearly equate this work it is the same work it can be equated it can be equalized so 80 women days is equal to 120 child days because the work is the same sure so students now you can see that there is a certain relationship what we can do is simply cancel them out simply cancel them out so two women days is equal to what is equal to three child days sure so you can see a ratio emerging two women days is equal to three child days now students the question says days six women and three children take now the work is the same how many women and children are working together now they are not uh, working individually they are working together we have six women and we have three children working together sure so six women six women in one day so in six women in one day will be doing how much work they will be doing six women days work because six women work for one day that means six women days that is the work they do in a single day similarly if we have three children working for one day so three child days three child days because they are working for one day sure so that is the total work they do in a single day that is the work they do together in one day now you see that two women days is equal to three child days 
सो आई कैन क्लियरली राइट आई कैन क्लियरली राइट टू वुमेन डेज इन प्लेस ऑफ दीज थ्री चाइल्ड डेज श्योर सो दैट मीन्स द वर्क डन द वर्क डन इज इक्वल टू द वर्क डन इन वन डे इज इक्वल टू एट वुमेन डेज सो इन वन डे इन वन डे द वर्क डन इज एट वुमेन डेज what is the total work initially we calculated the total work the total work was 80 women days so in one day we are doing 8 women days work so 80 women days work is total work divided by 8 women days so students very clearly the answer turns out to be what the answer turns out to be 10 days 10 days will be required to complete the work and now as always i am giving you an assignment i am giving you a question and you in the comment box you have to provide me the answer to this question and students in the next video in our in my next session i am going to give you a detailed explanation of this uh, question but make sure you click a picture of this question provide me the answer in the comment box so that we can get connected so that i can you know teach uh, you even the the more difficult questions so with that i'll be winding up uh, the video but do not forget to like the video and share it with your friends and do subscribe to our channel god bless you all thank you so much